hey guys how's it going now in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a function that returns the Fourier coefficients now Fourier coefficients are just the terms in the Fourier series and if you go to this Wikipedia page of Fourier series then you can get the definition and everything about the Fourier series and all and Fourier coefficients to be precise is uh, the coefficients that is a naught a n and b n that you see right here so f of x and this expression on the right hand side of this equal sign is the Fourier series expansion of a function where the a naught the a n and the b n are the Fourier coefficients now the program or the function that we are going to make inside up today is um, would be returning these coefficients that is the a naught the a n and the b n so let's say that I have a function f of x with period 2 L and we then we can represent such a function by this Fourier series where a naught is 1 by L and integration over 2 L or minus L 2 L of f of x dx and a n is 1 by L integration over from minus L to L or from 0 to twice of L of f of x cos n by x by L dx and so on and that's how you get the Fourier coefficients so let's just go back to our scilab and open the sci notes and I have already created a program or a function called Fourier that returns the Fourier coefficients so this is the function it is pretty small and easy by the way so this is the function that returns the Fourier coefficients and let me just have this op window open side by side so that you can understand it better okay so now let's focus on this function so the name of the function is Fourier and it takes up three arguments that is the L N and F now L is as you can see here uh, we had the period twice L, so L would be half of that period. Then N is the number of Fourier coefficients that you want. For example, if the user wants only 5 coefficients, then they would enter N as 5. And then the series would look somewhat like A0 by 2 plus A1 cos N pi, uh, 1 pi x by L plus B1 sine N pi uh, 1 pi x by L, then plus a2 cos 2 pi x by l plus b2 sine 2 pi x by l and so on up till where n goes from 1 to 5 okay so that's n then f is a function that you want to represent by the Fourier series and these are the output arguments or the variables that is a naught a and b where a naught returns a value of a naught here and a is a matrix or vector that stores the co these coefficients that is a n and b is another matrix or a vector that stores the coefficients uh, these coefficients that is b n so as you can clearly see that the formula of a naught is 1 by l integration from minus l to l or from 0 to twice of l of f of x dx so in my program I have written a naught is is equal to 1 by L times and the integral of f from minus L to L with an error of e to the power minus 2 now in case you don't know what an integration function is then uh, let me tell you that INTG is an integration function in Scilab which takes a three arguments usually that is the initial limit of the integration the final limit of the integration then the function that is to be integrated however since we are dealing with sine and co cosines here and usually scilab isn't able to perform such integrals um, without any error for example if you perform the integral of sine from 0 to 2 pi you may probably get a convergence error in scilab so you have to give this fourth argument and you can give it just any small value to find the integration or the integral of f from minus l to l and in case you want to know more about this function then you can just type help int g 
and you will get more about this so a is the initial limit b is the final limit and f is the function that you want to integrate and the fourth argument that i have is the absolute error required on the result so that's it okay so now head back to our program so this is performing this part that is the integration of f of x dx from minus l to l and then I have multiplied it by 1 by L right here. Now to calculate the AN and BN, of course we will have to use a loop that goes from 1 to N where N is dependent on the user that is how many coefficients does the user want. So the loop will go from 1 to N. Then we define a function F1 which takes up two arguments that is X and the original function f that is to be represented by the Fourier series and what it returns is f of x into cos i pi x by l so basically the function f1 is returning this part f of x cos n pi x by l where in my case the n is replaced by this i which grows from 1 to n so similarly I have another function f2 which takes up two input arguments x and f and it returns f of x into sine i pi x by l which is similar to this part right here f of x into sine n pi x by l dx. So I have these two functions defined which will play the part of these two functions and then I simply calculate a i which equals 1 by l times the integral of the function f1 from minus 1 to 1 with an absolute error of e to the power minus 2 so which is basically this thing right here so you know that a n is equal to 1 by l so I've written 1 by l then the integral of f of x cos i pi x by l from minus l to l so that is this since f1 is just this part right here and similarly I have calculated bi and it is pretty basic actually I think that you must have got it now so that's it that's as easy as it gets so that's a simple program to calculate the Fourier series and now you can just execute this function and head back to your console and just define a function that you might want to represent as a Fourier series so let's say I call my function f of x and let's say that it is x so basically I have defined a function f of x which is f of x equals x now I will call the function that I just created that is the Fourier and I will have the Fourier coefficients returned in these three output variables that is a0 will have the Fourier coefficient A0, then A and B will be matrices that contain the corresponding A in it and B in it for your coefficient. Then just type in four here, that is the name of the function. Now the first argument is the half of the period of the function. And another thing to note is that the program that I have created um, in this program, when you pass the value of F, now f or the function that you need to represent by a Fourier series will have to conform to some kinds of conditions or guidelines. In my case the number one condition is that f must be defined within the interval minus L to L. And what it means is that if you want to you know in, uh, represent f or the function by the Fourier series then you might want to make sure that you have correctly defined it in the interval minus l to l since you are going to give l so you must make sure that the definition of the function is complete within the interval minus l to l otherwise uh, you will not get the expected result so let me just throw it out there now let's head back to our program and just or console and just let's say that my function that is f of x equals x is defined with from minus 5 to 5 okay 
so I will so the half of the interval would be 5 since it is defined from minus 5 to 5 so that makes the total 10 and the to the period of the function is 10 and half of that would be 5 and let's say I want 5 Fourier coefficients and then the third argument would be the function as you can clearly see that that's what we need to provide the function we need to provide the half of the period then the number of coefficients that you want then the function itself that is to be represented by the Fourier series now you can just hit enter and you will have all the Fourier coefficients now you might notice that a naught and a are just plain zero. Now why that is is because if you look at the definition of a naught, then it is the integral of f of x from minus l to l, and since x um, from minus five, which was the l in our case, and since x is uh, since the integral of x from minus five to five would be zero, since it is an odd function. Therefore, I should have gotten a naught zero, and and which is what I get. So I got a naught zero. Then again, since f of x equals x is an odd function, and since if you multiply an odd function by an even function such as cos n pi x by l, then you get an odd function again. And now, if you integrate that function over its period, <coughs> then you must get zero again. So I have got that my a n is zero since the integral of an odd function over its uh, period is zero then in the case of bn since the function is already odd and it is being multiplied by sine and n pi x by l which is an odd function itself so it returns an even function therefore i get some non-zero integrals therefore i have the following values of bn that is this is the value of b1 this is the value of b2 then this would be b3, b4, and b5. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it. That's how you create a program or a function that can return the Fourier coefficients. And there are some more details of this function that I've created right here. And you can just pause the video and have a look at these. And you can even visit this link for more information regarding this code that I have created right here and there will be some examples also on this URL so that's it for today and I hope you liked the video and understood it if you did then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can you know plot the Fourier series that is in this program or video I have showed you that how you can get the Fourier coefficients now once you have the Fourier coefficients um, you can you put these a naught a n and b n back into this equation right here and you can get the complete Fourier series and then you can plot it and compare that with to the function that you wanted to represent by Fourier series so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to do that so make sure that you watch it and that's it for today and thanks for watching have a nice day